flowers, animals, art. Brook Green Gardens is a place of beauty. But when you visit, you also see that it holds history. Today, I talk with Teresa Skinner at Brook Green Gardens to see what this place is all about. Brook Green Gardens is one of the most beautiful places I have ever visited. I spent many hours wandering around and just taking in the location. It's hard to explain what it is like to be there, but whether you are a fan of art, of nature, of animals, or even history, this place won't disappoint. My name is Teresa Skinner. I work here at the beautiful Brook Green Gardens that you've taken the opportunity to come see here. Um, just an amazing place. I've been here about six years now. I am the senior interpreter here and the trainer of the interpreters that do all the historical presentations here. So you know all the history of this place? Well, I know a lot. A <laughs> There's lot. always more to learn. There's always something fascinating to find out, that's for sure. Brook Green Gardens started back in the 30s. Back in 1930, uh, an amazing couple named the Huntingtons arrived here, Archer and Anna Hyatt Huntington. He was a, a philanthropist, a poet, a writer. She was a world-renowned sculptor. They were from the New York area. They were looking for a place to get a winter home, get away from the cold New York winters. Um, she actually had tuberculosis, so they needed to get down here for her health. They found this amazing piece of property, four abandoned rice plantations. They purchased the property and within the next year, two years, they created this amazing place. And we started with the sculpture garden which opened in 1932. They wanted a place where people could be here, absorb the beauty of nature and art. And Anna was an amazing sculptor. Her um, specialty was wildlife sculpture. So a lot of our amazing wildlife sculpture in the gardens is actually done by her. But she created this. This was the first public sculpture garden in America. When they they opened it in 1932, so it's one of a kind and really there's no other place in the world that has our amazing beauty with the, the blend of the art and the nature quite the way we do. Brook Green Gardens is comprised of four former rice plantations that were started in the 1700s. There was the Brook Green Plantation, the Laurel Hill Plantation, the Springfield Plantation, and the Oaks Plantation all of which combined spans 9,127 acres. This area from here down to Charleston, all along the coast here in the, what we call the Low Country, that it was famous for rice. Rice was king for quite a while. It started in the, the 1700s and it went all the way up to after the Civil War. By the mid-1800s, Half of the rice grown in the U.S. came from this county alone, Georgetown wow. County. Yes, and these rice planters at that time were some of the richest men in America. They made a fortune off of rice. It was due to the skill and labor of the enslaved Africans that these plantations were prosperous. They were the ones who knew how to grow the rice. So back over here, you're actually seeing an abandoned rice field. And all the other rice fields were out here, all up and down the river and the creeks here. And so those all now flow naturally in and out. What happened was was they, these early planters, they arrived here in this area in the early 1700s, up from the Charleston area, started settling on these pieces of property. They quickly discovered that this was the perfect place to grow rice along these tidal creeks and rivers. And they realized that the people who knew how to grow rice were Africans from Western Africa, where they had grown rice for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Okay. So unfortunately for them, that's why they were enslaved and brought over here. So throughout the 1700s, up through the 1800s, um, they were the ones who created these immense rice fields. And why did the rice days in? The Civil War. And so when the South lost, the slaves were emancipated, freed, and of course that was the, the labor. In the first decade of the 1900s, we had several years of back-to-back -back hurricanes here that really devastated the area and ruined a lot of the rice fields. That was kind of like the final straw. Brook Green Gardens is a beautiful location with a grim past but it's also a place that honors those who worked on the plantation. I hope someday I get to learn even more about the history of that culture. 
See you next time on History at Risk. Thank you.